Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those who've been hanging with me some time and hello to those who are new to my channel. I'm Adele Levine, intuitive and medium. Okay, so today I just wanna get into the subject at hand quickly and um, jump right into it. We are gonna cover kind of a subject matter that has a large umbrella meaning that there's so much out there about this, which is, are we in an awakening? Now, really what I mean by there's so much information out there is really all about what is an awakening, when is the awakening, you know, all this type of stuff. Then there's, you could probably get a ton of information of what does it really mean? Um, is it a personal thing, meaning like, are you going through your own personal awakening? Is it a global thing? Is it a spiritual thing? So I want to kind of break it down to just right now in this moment in time, are we going through an awakening, a shift, an evolvement and a change? And like I've said to you before, I've been honest with you on this channel. I'm not going to pretend and ignore what's going on in the world because how could I, as someone who's a spiritual person and doing spiritual work, it would just not feel right or anything. <laughs> it just wouldn't feel, sound, or anything right. So yes, I want to acknowledge what's happening in the world and what we're going through tangibly, what we're going through in the mundane, how it's physically, financially affecting us. However, is there an awakening happening? Is there a shift and a change along with what's happening? And yes, of course there is. Has this been coming for a long time? Yes. Now, the thing is, is that if you look up a bunch of information, if you look up spiritual leaders and people who have been in this world for some time, they will, I'm sure you'll find tons of information about them talking about the shift. There are even documentaries, I'm sure about it and movies about it. I mean, I'm guessing, but I know for sure that this has been something that has been long talked about that there would be a shift. And I'm just going to explain to you my version of what I believe is happening right now. And even what I saw long ago, which I've said in previous videos. Okay, hold on. I'm going to need this for this. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Now, to be the awakening that we're going through is the concept of that has been the message that I know that I've been shown to bring to people for many, many years, which is what I've said many, many times, which is the idea that what affects one affects us all. And of course, is there ever a time that we see that? Now, the interesting thing is, is what we do with this information. What do we learn from it? Are we going to come out of this with just this concept of pure fear and survival? Or are we going to come out of this with this concept of if I truly try to project myself into other people's shoes and what they're going through, will I change my behavior? And that is definitely a personal choice for sure. That is definitely your own personal awareness and awakening and shift. How do we approach this? Do I believe there's anything wrong with fear? I don't believe there's anything wrong with fear. Yeah, I said it. You're going to feel afraid. You're going to feel frustrated, angry. You're going to have a roller coaster of emotions. One minute you may say, you know, things are kind of like, I feel like I'll be okay and things will be okay. And the next minute you feel a wave of sheer utter panic and um, fear and other things. It's okay to allow yourself to go through these shifts and these changes of emotions. This is how we're gonna get through it. So how we're gonna get through it is by not pretending what's happening to us and around us isn't happening. Now how you approach it 
is the key, right? That's always the key. It's not what we go through, it's how we handle what we go through. So is there an awakening with the other realm trying to help us through this? Oh yeah, absolutely, definitely. I know I see it in my readings, in my intuitive readings, definitely see it in my medium readings where the spirit world is basically saying we're done being polite and delicate about the existence of a world behind a world. The awakening is the realization that there's a world behind the world, meaning that in this world there is a world existing and the two world will exist coincide together. So the whole idea of searching for the paranormal, searching for ghosts, ghost hunting, looking for aliens and searching for all these things and trying to analyze it and go over what does it mean, what does it all mean, and is it this, is it that, should change, should halt. And really what this awakening is, are you going to just start trusting and believing what you have inside this knowing? The awakening is in a knowing, is a knowing that has always existed in you, always. It is just when it comes to the push and shove where we get tested in our physical world. I have always said that the challenge of this world is the physical mundane world, is the walls that are around us, it is the floor underneath your feet, it is what we're dealing with with now where we need groceries, we need to eat, we need places to sleep, we need a physical aspect to feel comfortable and safe, correct? Of course, of course you should. That is okay, nobody should tell you, oh, you know, don't want these things, that's ridiculous. That's the human experience. But the other experience is the idea that there's something behind this mundane world, that there is a connection that you can tap into, that there is guidance, there is a realm screaming out trying to guide and help but they're not going to tell you to agree to this awareness. You have to choose, very much like the matrix, right? In the matrix, you know, I know people love it, I know I love it, and it's based on, you know, something scientific and we love all that, but it is really spiritual, right? So he approaches him and says, which pill are you gonna take? Are you gonna take the red or blue pill? Have that right, right? Red or blue pill, correct? And and one of them will awaken you and show you the world that you haven't been seeing, and one of them will keep you asleep. Now, yes, one of them, when they awaken you and show you the world, there's also gonna show you the ugly, and that is the part that people don't like. It's the idea of, you know, okay, when you come awake and you see things, you see things that you, oh, you wanna see, and there's some that you don't wanna see. And in a time like this, when we're going through this change, we're going through all of this shift, there will be things that you want to look at that you're going to be willing to see and open yourself up to. And there are gonna be things that you're gonna not wanna see. However, if you embrace this inner knowing and this inner consciousness, it will guide you in a way that your two eyes and all of your physical senses can't. However, there's no time anymore for you to sit and be afraid and be fearful of what you don't fully understand or see. There is a sense you guys wouldn't be here on my channel or any channel like this if you didn't already have an intuition and your own intuition, your own sense of knowing that we're all born with. And now it's time to see that. Now what comes with that, the next part, is the understanding that what affects one affects us all. It's the understanding that the collective consciousness in that other realm is working with this knowing, that I don't have to sit and explain over and over how I'm feeling, that in that realm, it's just this knowing. I feel it and sense it already. So how can you exercise this in this time? Tune in to yourself. First of all, you have to accept, you have to say to yourself, am I ready and willing to see a world behind the world? Because more than ever, you need this guidance. Yes, I'm 
loving doing readings for everyone. I love that the spirit world is just pushing me to say, listen, when you read people, you know, I want you to tell them things, you know, hello, and let's catch up, but I have marching orders for people. And I'm glad to do this for people. And I'm glad to do the intuitive readings where my sight can shoot down and see your path and see what's going on and how it all connects to this world and where I see things going. I'm definitely happy to do that as well. But I want to empower and I've always wanted you to be empowered to know that you have an ability to sense and see yourself. The hardest part is trusting and not getting caught up in what it's supposed to look like and how are you supposed to do it and what is the proper way and all that sort of stuff. This is the time where you're going to have to take a leap and say, you know, I may look silly, I may feel silly, but that's okay. This is a muscle I'll get used to exercising and I'll get better at it and I'll get quicker at it. But there is another way to see the world. And with that, it will guide you to the understanding that what you're doing and what we do is affect each other. So forever, I have said to people, the person who is cleaning you, things up at the hospital for you to the person who is making your coffee. And by the way, I've said this saying long before what's happening today is just as essential and important as providing a service. We all are providing a service and every service is is very important to all. Now, I was told to start saying this to people about a year or so ago, and now here we are, and I understand why it's important for us to see. We should not have to wait for a time when we're forced to see how important everyone's role is when it's taken away. So, the awakening is coming in a way that, of course, nobody wants it to come, and this isn't to say, oh, this is good. Oh, you know, we need this. It's not to say that because I never, never downplay pain and suffering. But if this is the way we're going to be pushed, because believe me, there were many times where this message has been sent over and over out. I'm sure we've all heard it. But if this is the way that we're going to have to be pushed to see and to evolve, that is up to all of us to do our own awakening and our own involvement. And that is how we'll connect to each other. So I wanna end with this. This is accessible to all. Not everybody I know feels comfortable or trusts your own inner self. I know that not everybody trusts and feels comfortable with this part of, of you that you know is there but have doubts. I understand that. But the more you push yourself in that uncomfortable place and the more you push yourself to go through with this and allow yourself to just say, okay, here's an example for what you can do. You wake up in the morning and you get a feeling. What does it feel like today? What does the energy feel like today? And you allow yourself to tune into it, okay? And then it, from there, it can kind of take you, what should I do today? Who should I talk today? Who should I reach out to today? Who, what what is going, where is my energy and where does it lie? And then sometimes you may push yourself past that. Maybe you feel exhausted. Maybe you feel like there's not much energy you have left to give. And you allow yourself to kind of go into that and you recoup. But then you say, you know what? I need to push myself a little further. Even though it's hard for me to allow myself to see and feel what's out in the world and feel and sense the future, I'm going to allow myself to do it anyway and then take a break. But trust that inner self. Follow no one. Listen to people and what they are helping provide. What I do here isn't to be followed. Obviously, uh, you're following me on YouTube, hopefully, <laughs> or on Instagram. But it isn't about that. It's about opening a door, giving you a key, and showing you the door, and you have to be the one to decide if you want to go through it. And that goes for the higher beings in the other realm, and even spirits in your life. They can't force you to listen. They can't push you. Now, like I jokingly said, when I've been doing meeting readings, yes, have they been pushy? That's right. But that's because people have given me permission to tell them what the spirit world is saying. For yourself, you can do the same. You can sit down and you can say to, say to that realm, I'm willing to listen. I want to hear. Now, you may not get all the details, and I understand that. But 
over time you'll awaken to a world. Now this isn't about, I didn't want to bleed into the spirit world and confuse you, but the awakening is a seeing the world behind the world. It is a sphere. We are here and there's a world around us. Wake up and look at it. See, trust, honor the knowing that is built inside of you. Thank you so much and um, I hope this helped in some kind of way. I would love to hear from you guys of what you would like me to do with videos. I am doing another class that you guys voted on to um, learn how to trust your intuition. It's a little bit of what I'm talking here, which is what I'm trying to do is bring you some of that information here. Um, but what I'm really talking about is the full bigger picture of this awakening. But yes, I'm going to do a class, an online class. I've posted it on Instagram. I've posted it on here. It's on my website, adalelevine.com, and um, it will be on the 18th. I am going to continue again to do my special 50% off of all readings um, because, come on, more than now, this is the time. This is what I've been training for. This is when I need to be on the ground floor helping everyone. The code is PEACE. Um, just go to my website, Dale Levine, and just go to my Instagram for other posts. I try to do lives on Instagram so I can answer questions and lift your energy and all of that. I hope that helps. Stay safe and listen to yourself. See you soon.